Okay, I've got two more videos here. This one is um, another elimination method or addition method, but this is a special case. So I just want to warn you, this is a special case before you see it. Okay, so remember when I talked about the addition method before, what you need to do is be able to eliminate X or Y. Right now, if I add down, it won't eliminate anything. However, if I multiply the bottom by a negative three, that will give me three minus three and the X's will go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring across the top equation. And then I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a negative 3. Okay, a negative 3. When I do that, I'm going to get negative 3x plus 18y, okay, equals negative 6. All right? And the advantage now is that when I add down, the x's will be eliminated. I get 3x minus 3x is 0, okay? Uh-oh, negative 18 plus 18y, negative 18y plus 18y is also 0. And uh-oh, 6 minus 6 is also 0. So my answer is that I get 0 equals 0. Wow, um, what's going on here? Well, what this means is that any solution, any x and y will make this true. Any x or y is true. And the reason that is, is that these are the same one. So if you notice, if you go back to this original equation, right, if I multiply the bottom by three, I will get the same exact equation. And so one thing to do is when you're working in these kind of equations, you could have reduced the whole um, top equation by 3, divided 3 out of all of them, and then you would have recognized, oh, these are the same. But any x or y is true. So normally, your teacher might ask you, what's the solution set? Well, the solution set is going to be all real numbers, and in interval notation, that would be negative infinity to infinity. Any solution is true because they're the same line. Okay, that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoy.